It matters where you buy bundles. Paxify. So, Path of Water has been a bit of a disaster for many survivors over the last few months. The matching has been horrendous and the whale teams tend to win everything. So, some folks play 400 plus games in a week and get to nowhere. After many months of complaints, a huge update arrives with high anticipation. Discover 5 cool new characters for enhanced strategy battles. Fresh opportunity for the MVP to earn extra lucky stars. Earn additional stars for every 3 consecutive wins. Ex Accelerating your tier progress. Forge new friendship as teammates are now able to send friend requests after battles. Embrace the new fixed squad feature and fight as a team. Experience a far more strategic gameplay with an enhanced battle crusher ratio. Wait, the issue was the matching. Hello? What about the matching? Anybody? The matching, please? Nevertheless, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of State of Survival at Wacko Rush Gaming. There are many of you out there that still love playing the Path of Water. Win or lose. So in today's video, Video, I wanted to share with you my opinion on the five new skills as the path of water has been rolled out to all states. Vanguard, tactical maneuver, increases movement speed by 30%, surge for 60 seconds, triggering instant completion of the next two battles. When activated, what it basically does is not only increasing your movement speed, but rather the battle round lasting for the normal 10 seconds per round, it instantly completes the battle. The outcome of the battle is decided instantly and your health points will be adjusted accordingly. So you will see a reduction in your health points even if you win. The cool thing about it is that it activates two times per skill activation. Defender, Iron Fortress, restores 100% troop power upon winning the battle. When activated, what it basically does is, after winning your battle round, it returns your health points to 100% for one time. Medic, Vital Surge, restores 70% troop power for all friendly non-combat troops in any area. When activated, what it basically does, you can select your team member or yourself to be healed up to 70% of their health points. Support Strategic Aid activates one of the four effects in the current territory, including Assault, Haste, Ambush, and Slow. When activated, what it basically does, you can select the buffs that normally appears in towers to now also appear in the building that you own. With an added feature of ambush, where leaving it activated in the building that you control, and when the enemy arrives, they get bombed. Teleport. Teleportation teleports the selected troops to any other non-spawn territory. When activated, what it basically does, it allows you to teleport to any buildings or towers of your choice, and it's pretty cool. I bet you're all wondering, what skills should you use? However, before I share that with you, I want you to know about Paxify. Well, that's getting your bundles with Paxify. Paxify offers State of Survival players 10% to 25% discount in-game. Many of you have seen price rises, and why pay more when you can use Paxify to buy your bundles at a cheaper price. Many of these top 100 solo players are already saving themselves a heck of a lot of money using Paxify. So what are you waiting for? Make sure to check out the link in the description below and thank you Paxify for sponsoring this video. Where were we? Oh yes, what skills should you use? I find the three best skills being Vanguard, Medic, and teleport. This is my opinion and you might have a different opinion to mine and that's okay. I believe that rally leaders should use vanguard or teleport. Meanwhile, I believe joiners should use teleport or medic. Think about it a little. The winning team basically has longer occupation time in the fortresses over the opposing team. I used the defender skill and I kept getting killed by someone using the vanguard skill. I go back to the spawning hub. Now I have to travel all the way again to find the same opponent. In this time, the opponent opponent has taken maybe 30 seconds or 50 seconds occupation time in the building which I have lost. So I thought for a while, the defender skills is like wearing a helmet and the vanguard skills is a sniper. The sniper will kill you even if you're wearing the helmet. Therefore I found using the vanguard skills is a lot more beneficial especially if you're a rally leader. Separately, I have also come to realize that whether you're a rally leader or a joiner, the teleport skills is extremely beneficial to the team. With the teleport skills, it changes changes the dynamic of the Path of Water battles. It allows the member with the skills to teleport to anywhere where it's an enemy building or friendly building. In the past, when you were fighting very strong players, you could leave the building empty and block the path of others from reaching your territories. However, with the introduction of the teleportation skills, now teams can no longer afford to leave their building empty. This the matches get more intense, with weaker teams maybe having a slight chance to win if they play smart. Finally, the medic skills. 
It requires someone with good understanding and know-how how to use the skill. Healing the rally leaders in between battles to prolong the fights or strategically healing members so a stronger player can arrive to reinforce the building in time will be extremely useful. As I said before, it's all about the team with the longest occupation points. Therefore, strategically healing members in between battles will massively increase the chances of winning the overall fight. There is little to no point talking about the support skills as I think it's absolutely garbage. One last thing that you should know about is that you cannot activate the skills during the battle and they generally last one time or has a cooldown. For example, for me, activating the Vanguard skills 2 seconds before I'm arriving at the enemy building would be better than activating it while sitting in my own building with no risk of enemy around. That's a no-brainer, right? Well, that's all folks. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bells for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.